Happy birthday to the greatest city in the world. Happy birthday, Chicago. Chicago 60611. 187 years old today. Look out that window. Does this city look 187? I mean, they don't look a day a day. The city doesn't look a day over 21. No, we're at NBC Tower in the heart of Chicago, and we look out the window here. We can see the lake. We can see the loop, and they're looking pretty good. I got to say, the city must moisturize. Must moisturize. The thing yeah. about the city, all the wrinkles and crevices and all the cracks just makes it look more beautiful. That's yeah, great. All the history behind it. You go to San Francisco, it's a dirty city. New York's a dirty city. Mm, ours I is mean, I beautiful. like I like cities all over the country, but I don't mm-hmm. like anything better than Chicago. All right, Corey, now top that for an introduction, huh? <laughs> well, happy birthday, Chicago. You're only 187 years old today. And looking lovely. Mm-hmm. Lovely, lovely. But it's also another special day in this wonderful city. It's Kazmir Pulaski Day. Revolutionary War hero, right? Absolutely right. And so here in Illinois, we've been celebrating it for a while. But I was curious how much you might know about Kazmir Pulaski. Go ahead. Go ahead. Quiz us. Go ahead. I dare you. (laughs) Okay. So Pulaski, as we said, fought for the United States during the American Revolution. What founding father can we thank for this? It was it A, Benjamin Franklin, B, George Washington, or C, Alexander Hamilton? What do you think? I have no clue. Um, Washington. Benjamin Franklin was more of a thinker. Mm-hmm. I don't think he had. Well, and he was a traveler. But did he have jurisdiction over and mm-hmm. in, in power over people? This sounds like George Washington to me. Yeah, it sounds like Washington to me, too, because of the power over people. Yeah, and the, the Revolutionary War. Yeah. I think it's Franklin. Yeah, it's, it's got to be Franklin, man. It's Ben. Benny because Boy. he went to Poland and he found him? Yeah, that's where they invented electricity was in Poland. <laughs> that's where they invented that Pulaski. It that's why they're so good at putting in light bulbs. <laughs> oh, All right, who is it? <laughs> You've got it. Benjamin Franklin. Oh. Wow. Benjamin Franklin. And, and explain. Two, yeah, they met in Paris in 1776, and apparently Pulaski was, you know, so interested and excited. They hit it off. They offered his services. Uh, for the American Revolution, but George Washington was the one who made Pulaski a general oh. and appointed him as the first leader of the U.S. Cavalry. So both found, of those founding fathers um, had had ties to Pulaski. But I will tell you, my son knows another interesting fact about Benjamin Franklin. He wrote a treatise on farting, and to a nine-year-old, that's like the most. <laughs> oh, what a gift! What a wow. gift to be a What a cool teacher. <laughs> Was this for school or just family good times? No, no. He was reading about Benjamin Franklin and watching a show, and it, it was actually somewhat educational, and he learned this, and we looked it up, and it was totally true. Wow. Interesting. So his treatise on farting, what was it for? Um, he just said it was a good thing and that everybody does it and that he <laughs> he was he was behind it, so to speak. That's not just <laughs> funny for a, a nine year old. It's, it's funny for a six year old, it's funny for a forty year old, it's funny for a thirty year old. It's like <laughs> a kid's book. Everyone farts. <laughs> yeah. You think about that Absolutely. though, back in the back in the day before, you know, the invention what of Drocard Dr- Noir. <laughs> um <laughs> they didn't they didn't bathe. They obviously didn't shower, they didn't bathe that often. Right. And when you met someone, Benjamin Franklin meets Pulaski. I don't know what those two dudes smelled like, but it couldn't have been good. <laughs> Maybe that's why Imagine. they off, Steve. Exactly. <laughs> wow. That's why, that's why they're friends. It's amazing. It's amazing. All right, number two. Okay, the very first official Pulaski Day was celebrated here in Illinois in 1986. It was the day after then-Governor Jim Thompson signed a bill to create it. What did that bill originally require? Was it A, a moment of silence in Pulaski's honor, B, raising of the Polish flag next to the American flag for just that day, or C, a day off for school for all the kids in the state of Illinois? Day what off do you of think? school. Day off of school, because I remember being off school mm-hmm. for Kashmir Pulaski Day. We were so excited. Yes, yes. I Yes. Exactly right. I know. I felt the same. It, for, it, it lasted until like 1995, and that's when state legislature legislators passed another bill that said, hey, if you don't want to give your kids in your school the day off, you don't have to. But yeah, for those 11 glorious years, we had the day off school. And there's so many great Polish people in the city. I think outside of Warsaw, we have more Polish people per square foot than anywhere in the world. Uh, and that's how they do it. It's a, it's a PPS 
uh, Polish people per square foot. <laughs> oh, is that how they do it? Um, <laughs> Um, so, you know, um, that's a little offensive on some level when they take away the day. Yeah. I so, know. I'm not crazy about it. I know. All right. So, all it's right. Con- great day off. Continue. Number oh, yeah. three. Yeah. Okay. Last one. What happened? Okay. So Pulaski died on the battlefield on October 11th, 1779. What happened to him posthumously after that? Was it A, he was made an honorary U.S. citizen? Was B, a federal holiday was approved in his honor? C, DNA testing was conducted on his skeletal remains, and that concluded that Pulaski could have been intersex? Or D, <laughs> all of the above? Wow. Are you caught? The last one I didn't Wait, see coming. <laughs> Pulaski could add both boy parts and girl parts? He was intersex. Yeah. 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 Oh. No. Um, wow. I'm going to go uh, honorary citizen. Yeah. Uh, well, did you just say there was a D, which was all the above? Yeah. yeah. Well, I yeah. always go with all the yeah. above. Yes, you do. That's why I did this exactly for you. All of the above. Come on. Yes. What? Seriously. Yes. There is research done on his bones. His bones were discovered. Like, he wasn't buried anywhere in particular. So after what people think was his body was exhumed they did some research on it and said huh he, he had both male and female parts probably well if that's the case you know there's never a shortage of things to do on a saturday night um, <laughs> <laughs> always pick d there's always that <laughs> um i have some facts for a chicago birthday do you know why we're called Ooh. the windy city because of the, uh, the book no because of the oh. go ahead Corey. the yeah. new york sun a newspaper, a columnist there was talking about the blowhard politicians yeah. in Chicago. Yeah, right. Mm-hmm. Exactly. I thought it was about Benjamin Franklin's book. Um, <laughs> I'm farting. No, it's not the farting thing. Um, do you know why it's called DeSabo Lakeshore Drive? By some people. Yeah. Jean Baptiste DeSabo from Haiti um, was a trapper. Mm-hmm. And uh, essentially founded Chicago. He was the first non-Native American settler. Right. Do you know we're the railroad capital of America? We if are. not the world. There are more railroads, and, t- and Mike, you can speak to this. There's more railroads that intersect, not intersex, intersect <laughs> here and more trains that come through here. Right? I mean, where's we the deal? for a long time, yeah. Oh, we're not anymore? Yeah. Not anymore. What's, what is it now? It's a European city, and I'm not sure. The but European city of not sure? Is it not, not, not sure. sure? Not sure is in the Netherlands, isn't it? It is, yes. yes. Mm-hmm. Duh. <laughs> Here's one that I didn't know. The Chicago River is 156 miles long. Wow. And dumps into the Mississippi. Did well, you know that? Well, because it goes all the way down to the Mississippi. Yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah. I mean, I didn't know how long it was, but it you seems know, like it was long. I mean, everybody knows we have the best skyline. Yeah. And uh, we have four of the 10 tallest buildings in America still. How about 26 miles of public beaches? I didn't know that either. Mm. Hmm. Uh, that, is that, that's got to include up in Zion, right? Uh, that, well, the, anywhere the lake is, yeah, I suppose. Okay. It, yeah, it goes. Uh, but also, uh, did you know Mrs. O'Leary's cow, um, there's been historical arguments about this, but did set the fire, and it was an insurance fire. A mobster paid off the cow. Oh, oh, is that what fine. happened? So it wasn't <laughs> peg leg getting That's drunk. That's what happened. No, true story. Yeah, no. I don't make stuff up, Corey Rumor. No, never. <laughs> never. All right, Corey Rumor, how do we get the vintage Chicago Tribune? And you have to shake the dust off yourself every week so we get all this history because you're going through all the old papers. You should ink stain, poor lady. I know it. People in Hawaii, when she was visiting with the family, go, why does that lady have ink stains? Why does she have blue fingers? Know, right? Can you come in so we can see the you blue your ink in. stains? You know what? You should come in the one of these Mondays. Come in and do a live me. version. Come over here, you. Yeah. <laughs> There's too much pressure. I don't oh, think I'll be able to stop it. do well. All right. <laughs> so if you want to get the vintage tree, what do you do? Okay, go to chicagotribune.com forward slash newsletter. Sign up for Vintage Chicago Tribune. Totally free, and I'll be in your email inbox every Thursday afternoon. All right, more fascinating facts about Chicago and crap I made up to before nine.